sounds a compressional wave. And so, so would you repeat the question? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Linda asked, uh, how is it different for sound to propagate through a liquid or, uh, or even if there's an absence of material there, is it even possible for sound to propagate? And is it possible for, uh, uh, how would sound move through like a solid? Uh, and then uh, um, pursuant of that is, what would sound be like on another planet? Uh, and so, first of all, sound in the air is a compressional wave. It's basically the gas inside the air is getting compressed and expanded a little bit, and that pulls the gas next to it, and it just basically wiggles its way across the room. Uh, sound in a liquid is the same way. It's a compressional wave. In a solid, you can have compressional waves where the molecules are getting closer and farther apart, but you also can have shear waves. Uh, where the solid is rubbing side to side with respect to one another. A compressional wave would cause squeezing to happen. In a shear wave, it's doing more like this. Okay, So that's why when you've got, say, an earthquake on the other side of the world, the people uh, who have seismic installation stations here in Arkansas up around the New Madrid Fault area are able to pick up those vibrations. They're able to understand how did that earthquake over in Indonesia uh, propagate through the core of the earth, through the uh, uh, solid parts of the earth, up to where those stations are at. So that's, that's some of the different things that you can learn about what's going on inside the planet where you'll never get to go. Laura, did you well, want to add? Yeah, I did want to add something that, depending on what the medium is, the partially the speed of sound is driven by the density of the material. Mm -hmm. And so in gases, uh, the speed is rather slow. In air, give or take, it's around 340 meters per second, um, 1,100 feet per second. But underwater, much denser material, it's much faster. And so sound travels much farther in the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. And to get back to the questions about weapons, I don't know that this is really a weapon, but the Navy has been... Um, taken to task by some environmental groups because some of the sonar, et cetera, things that they are doing are harming some of the wildlife in the ocean. And so they're trying to figure out how can we move forward with this research but also not hurt animals. So, Right. Uh, sound is one of those uh, waves that requires a media. There has to be something through which it propagates. Uh, so you can't have a sound wave go through a vacuum. So sometimes when you see these science fiction shows and you're watching a spaceship explode and you hear the boom, you can't hear the boom because there's nothing intervening for the wave to make it to you. So that's one of those situations that sometimes popular media get that wrong. <laughs>